Hi, I'm Gopal Kamath, Program Manager at Cisco Entrepreneurs in Residence. And here with me today, I have Eugene and Dennis, co-founders of DG Logic, an end-to-end -end IOE platform. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Gopal. Thanks, Gopal. Can you tell me a little bit more about what DG Logic does? Absolutely. DG Logic itself is a company that focuses on software for the Internet of Everything. Uh, the Internet of Everything is a, arguably one of the most prevailing topics in most conversations today. And one of the things that's important to understand about Internet of Everything is the ability to connect various devices from different manufacturers that speak different protocols, that have different configuration parameters, uh, to be able to connect them into a single cohesive ecosystem on which value-added applications can be built, utilizing the data that they're, uh, that they're bringing to the ecosystem. So what I want to talk about first is the distributed service architecture, which is that platform for the connectivity of devices, services, and applications. The approach that we're taking with the distributed services architecture is that we're open sourcing it. It is our firm belief that in order for the Internet of Everything to rapidly expand and rapidly gain adoption, uh, it's extremely important to have a community uh, of makers, manufacturers, and service providers uh, be able to utilize uh, the work that has already been done uh, by other community members. Uh, so uh, it, it is our goal to allow uh, all of these community members to be able to take the open source code, adjust it per their needs, and, and be able to be part of this ecosystem with their devices and services uh, very easily. And one of the things that, that I want to do is actually point your attention to uh, to the computer screen where we're looking at uh, an example implementation of, of our technology stack, which includes, of course, this communication method, but as well as the commercial products that we have at DigiLogic, which is uh, DigiLux, uh, the application development platform, which sits on top of DSA and actually is used to build these value-added applications. Uh, so when we're looking at the computer screen, uh, we have uh, uh, several different cities, as you can see here, and we're looking at megawatt power. Uh, in order to get to real-time megawatt consumption, uh, there's a lot of compute that has to go uh, that has to go into this. As we drill deeper, we can look at the fog layer. We can look at the actual neighborhood view here, where we're seeing an example of security cameras that can go in. Uh, we're seeing an example of uh, street lights, traffic lights, etc. All of those things are now interconnected in a cohesive ecosystem. One of the things that's extremely important is not about just getting the data into uh, into the interface and, and, and having analytics and reports on that data, but the bi-directional communication, the ability to actually command data, command the physical world from the virtual, is extremely important in the world of Internet of Everything. So as you can see, what I'm going to do here is actually turn the lights off, uh, where we can see the actual physical world get updated. You'll see the, the light bulb on the lower left-hand side got it turned off. We've got the virtual, uh, virtual world synced up with that. If I go ahead and turn, actually, uh, in the physical world, go ahead and use the actual physical switch, which is from a different manufacturer, to turn the light on, the light will actually come on in the physical world and you'll see the same representation in the virtual world, which is both on the computer screen as well as the mobile devices you'll see there, the iPad, you'll see the Android phone. Um, and now, as we actually drill deeper into, the, uh, into further the edge, uh, where we have all of our edge devices, where the actual meter is measuring the specific consumption of this room, or we have a temperature sensor giving us the average temperature in, in the room there as well. Uh, just showing all of the different layers and all of the different use cases at various uh, stages of IoT and the, and, and the Internet of Everything. Again, the goal, for, for, uh, the goal for distributed services architecture and the products that DG Logic, Logic comes out to market with is to really form this community of makers, manufacturers, and service providers to be able to very quickly become part of a holistic ecosystem and build value-added applications. What I'd like to do now is actually turn, uh, turn the, the stage over to Dennis to do a bit of a demonstration of how these products play together and how our commercial products, the application development platform, uh, are used to, to build these interfaces. Thanks, Eugene. As we can see here, we're, ac we're actually looking at a room with all of these connected devices together. And as we were demonstrating earlier, we have full control over all the lights from the virtual world, as well as the physical world, um, as well as showing the different indicators. So if the contact sensor opens, you will see the door open on the interface as well. I'd like to jump in and actually show the development environment for all of this, which is DGLUX. What I'd like to do is to demonstrate a very simple use case of having our door contact sensor actually control our light relay. So I'll go ahead and I'll drag out our contact sensor block and I will link that with our light relay block. So as you can see now, while we're opening 
the contact sensor, the light is not being affected. But as soon as I make the link between these blocks, now we're able to actually control the light using this contact sensor. So this is the logic programming, uh, which can run any type of control sequences extremely fast, utilizing uh, the DSA platform. And the next thing I'd like to show you is, uh, D is DigiLux, which is a DigiLogic user experience, which allows us to actually build applications on top of all of this IOE data. The first thing that I'd like to do is actually uh, drag out a gauge on the screen, to which I'd like to link my uh, Modbus meter um, voltage to. And we have all of our visual components here, so we're going to go ahead and change the units to be voltage. And we'll just drag out our voltage line to a neutral average point right over here. So as you can see now, we have a live voltage reading, and I would like to add some of other uh, visual elements to potentially um, depict these IOE uh, sensors and devices a bit better. So we can uh, take all sorts of visual controls, um, combine that with user interaction and logic to make full featured uh, web-based HTML5 applications pretty much with just drag and drop. So one of the things that's, that's, uh, that we're striving for is really to rapidly expand uh, the existence and the connected devices, the 50 billion connected devices, we're trying to shorten that timeline as much as possible and, of course, enable other companies and other individuals to be able to create value-added applications on top of that. That was very helpful. Thank you. I just have a couple follow-up questions here. So I know there are a lot of players in the IoT platform space. Uh, what is it that DigiLogic does that differentiates you from the competition? Sure. Uh, one of the things that's extremely important for us is to really create this free flow of information and be able to connect devices and, and, and really commoditize all of the connections, uh, which is why one of the bigger differentiators for us is the fact that we're open sourcing this platform completely. Uh, and, and our goal is to really create a community of, of makers, manufacturers, and service providers to, to be part of this, uh, this ecosystem, to be part of this effort of driving connectivity and commoditizing that connectivity. So uh, I know you've been working with Cisco. What sort of initiatives are you collaborating together? Uh, it's been a very uh, interesting road for us at Cisco, very exciting. There's quite a few different business groups that we're working with, business units, uh, in terms of productizing and bringing some solutions to market. Uh, there has been a recent announcement in Cisco's, uh, in Cisco's analytics strategy, which was announced by, by, announced by John Chambers uh, back in December of this year. Uh, that's a very exciting uh, world for us as well. We're actually very heavily involved with those teams and taking those solutions to market. You know, one of the deployments, one of the examples is the connected analytics for events. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, another one is connected analytics for retail. Uh, those are very exciting products that are being brought to market that embed our technology in those as well. Uh, and one of the things that we're doing with, with connected analytics for events uh, is, you know, uh, uh, monitoring things like fan behavior, fan engagement, uh, where Wi-Fi is being used at a, 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 at a venue. Uh, and, and, and what that does is very interesting because it allows the venue owner and, and the event owners to be able to really understand how to structure their events a little bit better. They, they can understand based on, uh, based on the disbursement of, of, the wi uh, of the fans that are connecting to the Wi-Fi, they can understand where to send more security guards, for example, where they right. need more help in terms of personnel. Uh, they can understand where lines are longer for, for uh, food kiosks. Uh, and, and, of course, be able to also provide feedback to the sponsors of the event in terms of which ads uh, really created fan engagement, which ads actually uh, caused a fan to, to take action uh, and, and look at websites. So all of those things, and in terms of Internet of Everything, enabling all of these different use cases and enabling all of this value is, is, is truly exciting to be a part of. Yeah, I mean, it sounds very powerful. Uh, so what's next for you guys? Next is just really continuing to build out the technology, making sure that all use cases are solvable, solvable with a framework consisting of various technology products, uh, and, and really growing the community of, of manufacturers, makers, service providers uh, to create these adapters and really join the ecosystem and join the effort in, in, in really rapidly expanding the Internet of Everything. Great. Sounds very exciting. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Our pleasure.